I felt so bad. I cannot get mean because this woman was absent-minded. Uh, she had, she was senile and all that. But I got felt up by an old lady in an old folks' home. <laughs> but yeah, uh, speaking of all that, um, being able to go full-time on Twitch would be a dream come true. But yeah, it's, like I said, I, as much as I, I do enjoy my job, it's just, it's very stressful. So to be able to do something like this that I greatly enjoy, I would really love. Uh, before all this hit with the health issues, I'm replaying the same song, aren't I? There we go. Uh, before all this hit, I actually had a guaranteed internship at a local radio station. I was attending college for broadcast communications and journalism. Um, all I have to do is the internship. Uh, in order to do the internship, I have to do one regular class too. Uh, but my, I ran into a lot of life problems. Uh, as in, I had to move out, I had to get a full-time job, because the place I was living in, uh, I, I couldn't stay there anymore. Um, so, yeah, it came down to, I had to adult too early. So I didn't get to finish, and a lot of stuff just happened. Uh, life basically just kicked me right square in the balls. Uh, health issues got worse and worse, so I never got to finish. And my internship was no more, and it sucks. Uh, but yeah, I was guaranteed an internship at a local radio station, and I think I only have two classes away from my um, my journalism degree. Problem is, it's been so long now, all my credits are gone, and that's all because of the health issues that I have. And the only reason I am as bad as I am right now, the neurologist I trusted wound up quitting, so I wound up going with another neurologist that many people had uh, said was a fantastic neurologist. Nope, he kept me from getting the medication, which is the infusion that uh, that Van was alluding to. And that medication keeps the MS under control and prevents it from going haywire like this. He kept me from getting it, which caused me to go into the hospital for a five-day infusion of uh, solumedrol, I think it was. No, not solumedrol. A steroid infusion. I forget the term off the top of my head. And then uh, once that was done, because I was so physically destroyed by the medication... I had to go into physical therapy and I got into a good physical therapy place. Problem is due to getting the solumedrol, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Solumedrol height. Uh, no, that's the solumedrol is basically the cleaning agent. It has to be. But either way, um, I forget the name of it. Uh, but yeah, because I got the steroid infusion, I couldn't get the medication for another month. By the time I got my infusion, uh, Taisabri, it had been four months, and it just kept wreaking havoc in my system the whole time, because my neurologist at the time was an idiot, in my opinion. He had, he did not handle it properly. He neglected me. And the thing is, I would have sued, but there was no evidence whatsoever to prove that it was medical negligence. Not to the degree that it was. So, there was nothing I could do about it. The worst part about it was... Uh, at one point, my I had minor kidney failure why, because of all the medications that they've been giving me to keep me stable until I got the infusion. I went into the hospital. I came back. Or not came back, but when I was coming out, they told me the, uh, the um, physical therapy place I was at, my insurance will no longer cover because technically by going to the hospital, I left. So guess where I had to go? I went to an assisted living facility, i.e. a freaking retirement home. With a therapy unit. I lived in a friggin' retirement home for seven months. That was hell. Nice people, but insanely understaffed. I got felt up by an old lady. <laughs> I got felt up by an old lady. It was the weirdest thing ever. I'm sitting there. I had my laptop. I'm sitting there. I'm not paying attention. All I feel is a hand running up my leg from behind the curtain, which I had closed because I had a roommate at the time. And she just felt me up, and I, I opened the window, I'm like, can I help you? And she goes, I thought you were my husband. I felt so bad, I cannot get mean, because this woman was absent-minded. Uh, she had, she was senile and all that. But I got felt up by an old lady in an old folks' home. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do laugh about it this, to this day. I, the stories I could tell from that place, it, it was just total hell. Um, oh, and yeah, from there I came home. I got outpatient therapy, which it was okay, and then I did inpatient, th or no, I got outpatient therapy at the facility where I couldn't go back to for inpatient, 
and holy crap, uh, the inpatient therapy sucked compared to the outpatient therapy I got. I was walking 25 feet uh, with very little assistance by the time I was done. My insurance dropped me. I came home, stress out the ass, sick, uh, something else happened, I forget. Now I can't walk again, I can't even stand, so I gotta get back into physical therapy again, the outpatient one to try and get better. There's another facility I'm eyeing up and I'm hoping like hell I can get into. Uh, that's been the last three years of my life. Um, I'm trying to keep as upbeat uh, attitude as possible about it. I do have minor mel uh, meltdowns from time to time, but overall, that's basically what I'm dealing with daily here. And yeah, um, streaming on Twitch is just such a massive outlet for me. I, 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 I just, I really love it. It's essentially like a close equivalent to the internship I was guaranteed. That, that's... The, it doesn't amount to the outreach I would have with the radio station, but I mean, it's something that kind of plays into that and just makes me happy, you know? Plus, I'm meeting a lot of awesome people like Rav and Van, uh, Moirin. So, I mean, it's... It's, it's a win-win in a weird way. It, it took that to happen to meet these awesome people that I'm gaming with and just have a blast playing games with. And obviously meeting awesome people in the chat. And I just have a lot of fun doing this. And I hope you guys are uh, as entertained as I am. Because this really is just so much fun for me to do. So I, that's part of the reason why I do it. And why I don't expect any money. Uh, like I said, as much as I'd love to become a full-time streamer. With subscriptions, donations, and all that. This is more just... This is me having fun. This is me genuinely happy. So what you're seeing here on stream is me as a person. So, I, you know, I, I hope like hell I can entertain you, and I hope like hell I can make you all happy or distract you from any problems in your life, much like you guys, and doing this does for me. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's about it. <laughs>